Hello and welcome back to Jules Under Plays The Long Dark. So last time we had a little bit of a disastrous start. It was in the middle of the woods, it was cold, it took me forever to find anywhere where there was any stuff, so I started to freeze to death before anything really happened. But we are now in a house, we're at the cabin by the lake, the camp office, so fingers crossed. Today we'll go a little bit better, hopefully we'll do a bit more exploring, have a little bit more interesting stuff happening, and fingers crossed actually run into some wolves, because I keep going about how freaked out I am about the wolves, and there were none at all in the last video. Didn't even hear a howl. So, <laughs> let's load it up. Okay, so it's the morning, we have a reasonable situation, I've eaten some food, got us all ready for the day. So I can hear it sounds pretty windy outside, so I think I'm going to head across the lake, First, we'll check and see how bad the weather is. If the weather is awful, I don't want to start freezing to death again. So I'll do a bit of stuff inside for an hour or so. All right, how cold is it? Feels like minus 30. Yeah, I think we might stay inside for another couple of hours. So. <laughs> All right, well, what we can do, we've got the hatchet, so we can speed up. We can do a little bit of gathering reclaimed wood. I think we'll probably set this up as base camp for a couple of days at least, so no issue with leaving some stuff here. So if we got two hatchets, so yeah, might as well. So we'll do a bit of foraging for wood. Okay, so now we've got three reclaimed wood and we've got the fur firewood that we found earlier. So that's not too bad. So I think we'll drop some of this stuff just in the corner here. It's, ooh, I missed a soda. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm useless sometimes. All right. We'll drop a load of wood in the corner here, I think, just so that we don't need to, because we don't need to carry all of this. So we'll, we'll keep the fur firewood in case of an emergency, and we'll keep three tinder fire plugs, just in case. You never know what's going to happen. So we've got the book to light the firewood, the fur to burn, and the tinder as well. Okay, so it sounds better. A little bit hungry and thirsty. Maybe we should chug a bit of water. Less weight to carry anyway. Oh. Eat the candy bar, energy bar. And some water. And that should hopefully get us into a good position ready to go out for the day. So, yeah. Feeling good. Right, get out a flare. So the reason I get the flare out is that they are used to scare off the wolves, just in case you're not familiar with the game. Right, no obvious wolves. Anything out on the lake? Okay, I don't see anything wolf-like nearby, so I think we're safe. All right, how cold is it? Minus 14. Okay, so it's still pretty cold, but bearable. We can, we can be out for a couple of hours in this. So. Best be prepared for anything. Okay. Not much of use there. We've got plenty of bandages, but at this point, am I wearing a hat? I am. Good, but that one's slightly better condition, so we'll wear that. Okay, so we're going to head out to these little ice fishing huts. And on the other side of the lake, there's some um, other sort of cabins. So we'll check those out too. Still do regular wolf checks. <laughs> Alright, let's do a bit of running. Speed things up. So yeah, I know in this game you can fall through the ice. I've never had this happen. I've had a warning come up saying weak ice when I've been on a different map, but I've never had it on this lake, so I feel quite safe on this lake. So I don't know whether it is possible to fall through the ice here. But so far that hasn't been an issue for me. So that's probably jinxed it, but you never know. That'd be fine. All right, Ooh, well I see a grape soda. One of Stacy's fabulous grape sodas. Yeah. Oh no. It ended up being useful. <laughs> Matches. Handy, handy. Anything up on the top? Nope. Okay, check the drawers. Any fishing hooks or snacks? Ooh, I see I see a rifle round on the ground. Excellent, excellent. More matches? Well we're stocked up on matches at least. We can light lots of fires. How cold are we? Getting colder. Okay. Alright, if we head this way. Yeah, we'll head towards these houses, pop into this cabin on the way. 
Just keep checking for wolves. Just just keep looking around constantly because there could be a wolf anywhere. <laughs> the draw distance sometimes lets me down. <laughs> right, did this guy have anything on him? No. Ooh, cedar. Nothing. Newspaper. Ooh, soda and a granola bar. In there. I'll take it. And some cloth. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, there were things on the shelf. <gasps> Pry bar. Excellent. That's great for breaking into lockers. And later on, when there are cars on the map, breaking into car the boots of cars. So that's on next. Yes, Coastal Highway. The next map that you get to it has lots of cars on it. So there's not so many things that need the pry bar on this one, but okay. All right. So three cabins here. I'm hoping just for a bit of food, as much as anything. It doesn't need to be too exciting. Just, just on this map, there isn't an awful lot of stuff. If you, when you were first playing this game, you really had to get, before they added the next maps, you really, really had to get good stuff for the gun and rifle ammunition to hunt animals. Otherwise you're kind of stuffed. Right, what have we got? Ooh, lockers. Are there always lockers in here? Can't remember. Neither is locked though, so. And it has anything in it, so <laughs> that's why it's not locked. Ooh, there's a box under there. Also nothing. You're failing me. Failing me, house. Alright, anything under the beds? No. Well that wasn't a very good haul, was it? Hope I've not missed anything obvious. No. Does not look like it. Oh well, next one. How are we for warmth? We're warming up a little bit. This thing, we'll, ju we'll jump between houses and we won't freeze to death. That's the plan. If you keep popping in and out of buildings, you can't get as cold. That's the theory, at least. And at least it's not foggy. Because I hate trying to cross... Ooh! Work boots. I hate trying to cross the lake when it's really foggy because I tend to get disoriented very easily. As I said, I'm not the best at navigating. No. Nothing in there. Right, just that box. And then we'll Maybe check we in the use this. More coffee? Ooh, sweater. Is that better than what I have? What have I got on? No. Nah, we'll stick with that then. So we're still wearing the best of what we have, really. So those are... But the work boots are warmer, so we will wear those. Excellent. Okay. Onwards. Next house. What do we have in here then? Anything tasty? More newspaper. Well, I'll be burning lots of things. Even if I'm not eating. <laughs> Oops, accelerant. Yeah, again, still burning things. Just not eating anything. Is that it? Gosh darn it. All right, so plan is we will head back out onto the lake, find the next load of cabins, and hopefully there'll be some bad stuff in there. And no walls nearby. Just keep running, just keep running. Just keep looking out for walls. I think we're good. Right, whenever I get to a new go around a corner, I'm probably going to go silent for a moment as I freak out about potential walls. They probably shouldn't stress me out as much as they do because I do have a flare, but <laughs> okay. I'm so freaking paranoid. Mountain fuel. Well, I have plenty of that jelly. Oh, I should have dropped that really, shouldn't I? Oh well. What's that? Spit of wood. Some newspaper. 
so much newspaper, it's crazy. Nothing on the floor here? No. All right, let's get inside. I need to check, how's my weight? Ooh, I'm encumbered. Eek. Okay. All right, how was I doing for food and thirst? I could drink a little bit, I guess. I could drink one of my sodas. Yes, let's get rid of the slightly rubbish summit soda. Okay, back under now, but we need to lose a bit more weight. So how about we strip down these boots? Yeah, we'll do that. Because leather lays like what there. Because leather weighs less than the boots, so. A little bit more again. And then strip down the sweater too. Still got plenty of daylight. We've got time to do this. Oh, I should have dropped that blue and jerry can and some of the unnecessary stuff back at the house rather than just the wood. Ah, oh, stupid mistake. I just break down anything that I can just to save a little bit of weight. All right, how am I doing? At least I'm warming up by doing this. So, so I've got all these antiseptics and they're quite heavy. Oh. Yeah, I didn't need to carry all these tins of beans, because uh, they're quite heavy. Didn't need both my hatchets. Oh. Such a fool. Mm. Well, I could strip down some paper, but it doesn't really reduce the weight by much. Uh, well, I might do well enough, I guess. It doesn't take too long. Mm. She doesn't use... Might as well. It's, it's, it's anything to reduce weight now. So, if that would drop things really, because there's going to hopefully be some more good stuff in these houses. And I don't want to not be able to take it just because I was an idiot and didn't have enough stuff. I don't really want to do another run out here because there isn't much else, so it doesn't feel worth it to come back out another day. Alright. I'm getting a bit hungry and thirsty again, so. Let's go with the Stacy's grape soda. Okay, that'll do. Right. What's in here then? Probably useful. Right, don't weigh much. Always useful. Peaches. Whole, oh, heavy, heavier peaches. Oh, risk it, it's food. Food's important. Okay, but that's all that's in here. Oh, it sounds like the wind has started up again in all that time. So. Just worried about wolves now that I've been inside for so long. Oh gosh, this is not good. Okay, I think we'll leg it back to the cabin. Because we can't pick up much more anyway. Yeah, we can't carry any more stuff. And it's only one house left. I'll do, an I'll do another run. I'll do another run out later or tomorrow, depending on how things go. Just keep my that around. I'm really disconcerted by the fact that I haven't seen any wolves. Like, not even seen one at a distance. That's what's worrying me. Where are they? Because there's normally... There's normally one around the lake somewhere. So just, where is it? I'm just tempting fate by saying this, but... So obviously I don't want there to be wolves. <laughs> it's odd that there aren't. There's some wolf party somewhere. Well, there's a deer, looking pretty chill, so no wolves nearby there. Unless it suddenly starts running. Please don't suddenly start running. Now, if there is a wolf now, we can just leg it into the cabin, so it's fine. And we're inside. Safe and sound. Okay. 
So at least we're warm up now. We've got a reasonable haul. So I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So we did quite a bit. We got some more food, got some more supplies. Would have got more if I hadn't been silly, but oh well. And next time, hopefully, we'll do a little bit more exploring, possibly go down the railway tracks, check out the derailment, and maybe even go into the dam, which is always scary because it's dark in there and sometimes the dreaded wolf Fluffy, as it has been named, is inside. So maybe we'll do that next time, maybe the episode after, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back next time for the next episode of Jules Ender Plays The Long Dark.